Yeah, I'm fresh out. Went went to jail over some stupid shit. Jail is the worst shit ever. You know, I advise anybody that been to jail, don't try to go. Uh, you know, if you haven't been in jail, don't go. And if you have been in jail, hopefully you don't try to go back because that shit's fucking terrible. Shout out to my nigga Black for holding me down. Shout out to my nigga Reggie for holding me down. Shout out to the homie O'Neal. You feel me, OG O'Neal? You feel me? Like he, you know, I got, I got. Uh, he wants me to show him love on his Facebook because he needs some help, man. Like, the thing about jail is this. What makes jail fucking terrible is everything. Uh, yard time. Yard time is the most disrespectful shit I ever had in my life. Three soccer balls and three fucking poles were outside. You, that That's it when you went to yard time. Fuck that. I'm going back in. I'm going back to sleep. All niggas do is sleep all fucking day. Everybody sleeps all fucking day. M- motherfuckers wake up. You can't. Do, you can't function and talk loud to 10 o'clock in the morning. Then, you wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning, right? No, I, well, I wake up early in the morning. You know what I mean? Terrible breakfast. They give you a hard-boiled egg that's fucking garbage as fuck. I throw that in the trash can. This is my routine. Do that in the trash can. And then, they don't really give you no flavor cereal. They give you some bullshit. Ch- regular Cheerios. Regular flakes. You have to pour your own sugar into a cup and mix it with the cereals. Terrible. Lunch. You got to eat the same fucking thing. Bologna sandwich. So you eat a bologna sandwich. Dinner. It's the sickest shit ever. I, they had some shit called Fish Fridays. Because Fish Fridays was the worst fucking fish I ever tasted in my fucking life. The driest fish I ever tasted in my life. It was so. It was absolutely inhumane. It was. I, oh my gosh. I can't believe somebody would serve somebody this. I wouldn't even serve my dog this fish. That's how bad it was. One thing I learned about jail is this this place doesn't care about you at all. They don't care about your well-being. They don't care about your family. They don't care about your kids. It's just all about serving restitution for America. I I feel like I feel like I changed my my whole thought process around after going to jail. And I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the love in there, man. Like, people showed me actual love. I had no problems at all. I made men's with people that I had problems with for a long time. And actually, it was a cool man. You know what I mean? It was like a person that... I never thought that was really cool and we had a good conversation, a well, very healthy conversation. I feel much better about life after having that conversation with them. I feel like it humbled me and only way I'm ever going to go back to jail is, man, I'm telling you, I'm never going to go back to jail. I'm telling you, I will work hard as possible not to go back to jail. I will work hard as possible not to pay a to pay all the fines, I work hard as possible for everything. You can't do nothing either. You can't jack off. You can't, you know what I mean? No bitches. You just gotta be around niggas all day telling stories, and it's just story after story every day. Everybody has a fucking story in jail, and then you listen to the story, you don't know it's the truth. So now you turn into a detective trying to dissect if this nigga's telling the truth or not. And then you got a lot of time, you be going with other niggas, discussing other niggas' cases, and some of the shit be you sounding fake as fucks. And then next thing you know, you're sitting there at the table trying to see if you can be his lawyer and figure out that. A way that you can get him out of jail by him telling his story. So you now, now you're a fucking, um, now you're a fucking lawyer in jail trying to discuss a nigga's case. It's just, it's just so fucking boring. Four dollars for a phone call if you don't have commissary. If you don't have commissary, commissary. If you don't have a mom, a dad, or a bitch holding you down, it's really depressing. It sucks on Wednesdays when you don't get your commissary. You don't get to make your spreads at nighttime. You got to eat that garbage-ass food that they give you. It sucks wearing the same clothes every day for multiple days. One pair of pants. One pair of underwear. One pair of shirts. It sucks not having the internet and you're sitting there got a 
watch it on a tablet. Oh, you can't watch a tablet unless you have money on there. So if you have no money on there, you can't watch a tablet. So the only source of entertainment that you have is a TV that has antenna and maybe five channels. The lights are on all night. It's 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 just terrible. It's just like a very terrible experience, man. It's one of the worst experiences I had in my life, and it, it, it humbled me a lot, man. I don't know how y'all niggas go to jail for a long time, but that ain't me. I ain't that type of nigga, man. I'm a freelancing ass nigga, and I'm out. Peace.